All right, so it's been a while actually. I don't even, I don't even know if I showed you guys this list. Um, but what it is, is it's things that I gotta do. That way I don't forget, forget to do something and uh, I need to mark it off so that way I confirm I actually did it. So rear brake fluid flush and bleed, that one's done. So front brake line washers, I have to do that, re-bleed. Rear axle chain adjustment, I'm not gonna do that till I can take it off the stand and put it on the ground, because that's what, you have to adjust the chain. Uh, there's a little spec uh, decal on the bottom of the swing arm on the left side. I can't do any of this because I have to get paint for the for the tank. Um, oh, I did fix the wiring bracket on the frame head. I, I don't think it's a wiring bracket. I actually think it might be a, some component that's used when you're changing out the bearings. Um, maybe, because I couldn't really figure out what it was for. There has to be a special tool that Ducati uses, maybe, guessing, or pulling out the races for the bearings. Change oil filter, gotta do that. Check tire pressure, haven't done that yet. Check for a sticky throttle and make sure that your throttle doesn't stick before your first ride. And then uh, new fuel, no, that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, not really a lot that I can do until I get the handlebars ready for installation and install them. And then I can start knocking off a bunch of this stuff. So until then, <laughs> GoPro, stop capture. Yeah, it might've been easier to just do the kickstand first, but live and learn. So let's go ahead and get some simple green up on here. Clean this up. Okay, so, where's my kickstand? What the heck? Uh, really? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> All right, so test fit. Got that powder coat on there. It'll, I'm gonna wear, oops, sorry, bumping you guys a little bit there. I'm gonna wear off. Oh, damn things in the way. Really? Okay. Boop. Yeah, that. Powder coat will wear a little bit. Come on. Let's see what's up here. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll put some lube on there. this up close and personal. Alright. Alright, so I'll go ahead and put this guy on here. This bolt, I gotta put some lube on it too, um, but that goes in here. And then that's gonna go into the threads there. Oops, hopefully. Hopefully it's not powder coat filled up there. Might have to come in from the backside. <laughs> hmm. oh, yeah. Popping it out, there we go. Okay. It's like a 15 maybe? Oh, 14. All right. Okay, let's put some lube on that. Hmm. Oh, really? Do 
it by hand. Ah, that sucks. All right. Now, one thing, if you see that little tiny notch right there, that notch is for this thing right here because that is your kickstand up. It's like a potentiometer, I think. Unless there's like a little switch in there. But uh, you just line this thing up, make sure you put that put that little tip in the hole. Don't be smirking over there. Behind your screen, I can see you. I know what you're thinking. And you can always just move the, oops, move the kickstand to get it in there. There we go. See it now? That shaft, if you can see the, sh man, the sleeve, it's actually a sleeve right here. This is moving because the pin is actually in the stand. So now you take this little guy and put that on there. And I don't know what size that is. That's looking like an eight mil, maybe. It looks like that bolt spins. Alright, cool. Spins on there. Feels pretty good. Okay, yep. That's awesome. Now look at the spring on there. That's going to be the fun part. And I am being facetious because it was really a pain to actually get that thing off. So let me see if I can get the camera down here, get you some, uh, some good vantage point. One second, bear with me. I'll just put you right there. And it might be dark, I know it might be dark, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah. I have my glasses on because I don't wanna get popped in the eyeball by a spring. So this spring, oh shoot, a monkey. Where does this go? Oh, is this car here? No. Oh, it goes over that. So th if you look back there, there's actually a little, mm, a collar that you put this over. It's probably why it fell down. Yep, there we go. So that goes like, like that. And then now, I think this, oh no, I jacked that one up. How does this one go? Does this go? What the heck is going on here? That's so weird. This thing, let me take that thing off and look at it here, analyze it. Does this thing actually come down? Oh, it must be like a two-step. Um, so you go like this, take, take this off, take that off. Make sure these guys are lined up similarly. Oh, wait, there you go. And put that just like that. And then this is going like that. All right. So then these will go here. And then, yeah, that's how that goes. So let's put this back on. Okay. Oh, come on. Aw, oh, you booger. All right, so I'm back out of here. Now, we got this guy here, which might go like that. Put it over the thing, pull it, and then go up here. Now this is gonna be a very hard pull. So I got this little guy right here. Oops, where's it at? I'm gonna see if I can, oh my God, that's so difficult. I'm probably gonna hit the camera and break it. Hmm, I'm gonna move this back. Actually, I'll let you guys come right here because I feel like something's gonna happen. And uh, can you even see that? I don't even know if you can see that. Because it's way. But uh, yeah, I feel like <laughs> I'm going to hit you guys, so I don't wanna do that. It's not right, you know? I don't even, I don't even properly know you. I can't even beat you. All right, so I might actually get up and use 
my body to push against the stand and then pull it. Yes, sir. Now the trick is to slide the hook out. Oh man, is it good? Oh yeah, that's good. Boop. We got it kids. We got it, we got it, yeah. Clutch pedal and we'll put on the sleeve, the bushing. I'll take you guys to the workbench set up there. All right, so we get the bushing, put some lube on it. This is really just to help insert it into the bracket. Put that bad boy on there, give it a cup. Make sure you hold it straight up and down. Straight up and down. Give it some taps. If it's not going in straight, start hitting it to get it aligned. Ah, I didn't even want to go in. What the hell, Bobby? Okay. Might be the powder coating. Uh, did they powder coat that? I think they might have. There we go. Yep. Now that's a uh, that's a one way or what do you call it? The bushing um, is going to actually be it needs to be in the center. So I'm going to go get a a. Uh, we call it socket and I'm gonna find the socket that fits in there and then we'll hit it we'll actually bring it up a little bit so it's even because that's how it was when I pounded it out of course I can't see in there ding dong eh, a little bit too much Let's hit it like one time. That's not really good. Looks pretty good. It's good enough for government work. All right, guys, you might think it's disgusting, or ladies might think it's disgusting, but I don't want to say every dude. I don't even know who taught me. But, dude, spit, legit. It dries up. Don't even worry about it. You wanna put silicone or something that's gonna get all messy and whatnot? Nah. Mm. So let's go ahead, lube this guy up. Tell ya. You'll see. Well, hopefully I'll make a fool out of myself, but I mean, honestly, that's it. Look at that. Look at that. Done, wipe it off, all clean. You never knew any different, right? Cool, that, that's amazing. GoPro, stop capture. GoPro, stop capture. All right guys, so we're getting down to it here. So you go ahead and you get this guy, which is your oh, lever, oh, hold on. Get it, there you go, push that forward. This guy goes, I believe, man, let's see here. It's gonna go like this. So you put your bolt through, you put that guy in there, put your lock nut on the back side, and you get your wrench and your ratchet, and you tighten that guy down. Okay. Now, this will go right there. Perfect, looking good, looking good. All right, so, Make sure that this thing, now keep in mind, um, there's rubber O-rings here to help keep water out of that bushing. I'm gonna go ahead and lube up this bushing. Well, at least I'm gonna lube up this guy right here that will then go into the bushing. Waterproof grease is awesome. Okay, but also hard to clean up. Okay, so now, what you're gonna have to do, and that's what the step is for where the bushing's at. So you wanna make sure the 
the step on each side is, is uh, enough to allow the rubber to sit into it and keep it closed up. So that's good there. Putting this guy, you just gotta kinda do it by feel. It's in there. Get your washer. Put that over here. And then you start putting in the, oops. Start putting in the bolt. Okay, now I don't have a clutch lever, but that's pretty nice. I have brakes on, I think. Uh, oh yeah, my bracket's on the brake pedal, so that's why the brakes, the wheel's not turning. Anyway, this thing's feeling good. It's not, not, it's not really loose. It's pretty good. Let me put a little bit more oomph. That's about it, actually. It's not gonna give me any more oomph. But that feels pretty good. So now we got clutch lever, driver's foot peg, passenger foot peg, waterproof plugs, brackets on, foot guards on, and uh, that's looking pretty good actually. All right, let's heat it up and remove the sticker. And that's it. Now, obviously this is clean. This is a little faded, scratched up. So I'm gonna end up polishing this. Uh, probably once the, the bike is together, washed, I'm gonna polish up some of the areas that I think need to be polished. So, moving on to the next thing. I'm gonna go with uh, 2.5 millimeters. Is it? No, bigger than that. Three mil? Is it a three mil? Yep. It's a three mil. I'll tighten it. Uh, Okay, so now all I have to do is get the license plate and mount that up right here and we're done with the rear fender. GoPro stop capture. All right, so I thought I got my plate, but all I got was my uh, notification that my plates are being made. So I went and got the paper that they give you 
Well, your plates are on order and in queue to get made by an inmate. So, um, we're gonna put the paper one on right now and I'm gonna screw it out. Yeah, then we're uh, just gonna, I'm actually gonna call the DMV. Cause... All right, forgot that I have two, uh, two of these copper washers to replace uh, over here on the, uh, oh, the extension nope on the on the line for the front brake Hey, what's going on there? Thanks for uh, watching this video. It's a shorter video, less than the last one. Sorry, that one was like 40 some minutes. This one's like probably gonna be 25 by the time I'm done with it. Um, real quick, so I only had, shockingly, this video I had about 20 minutes worth of actual footage and it took me about two and a half hours to edit it. Um, I know some of my older videos had a lot more footage time and it also did, it's really hit or miss on like, what I'm doing, how much I have to explain, or I think I'm, I'm compelled to show you guys or, or walk you through because um, I know in the beginning I said I wasn't gonna make this a how-to. It was like, I just show, show you what I'm doing in case you wanted to do it. But as I was going through researching, I didn't find a lot of documentation. Um, Ducati's manual with the bike doesn't even like have oil change procedures. There's literally nothing, <laughs> say nothing that someone like me who's used to doing pretty much everything myself um, as long as the maintenance manual is there, or I seen a YouTube video, or read a forum, someone else has done something. Like, if as long as I get like a notification what the pitfalls are, I can kind of get a game plan and feel comfortable doing it. I got most of the tools I think the average person would need. So, anyway, with that said, um, the next couple of videos, I think there's probably going to be two more, maybe three max. Um, but uh, I'm really trying to just kind of. I could go a little bit more detailed than I said I was going to. So I apologize for that. Um, for those of you that, that don't care to see all the nitty gritty, then just skip, fast forward. I mean, I think you're really just looking for the end video to see like beginning, end, costs, selling it. How's it all, you know, how's it all work, right? To see if you want to do it, right? But if you're real maintenance minded and you like getting down in there, by all means, please just uh, keep watching. Uh, I'll try and make the next couple of videos. Uh, fast forward to stuff you know you don't really need to know or I don't think you'll want to know and I'll slow it down and, and articulate the things that I think you may want to know. So uh, again, thanks for uh, watching this series. I hope you stay around to watch. Oh, what's up girl? Hey, pop up, come here. It's my baby girl. Wait, 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 can you get up here? Can you get? She's my little micro, my micro uh, pocket pit, I guess. She's a pocket pit slash fat lab slash retriever. Um, let me see if I can pick her up. Hold on, hold on. Come here, girl. Come here. Come on, come with daddy. Yeah. Come on, come with daddy. Let's see here. You sit with daddy? Yeah, I know. I know. You're my girl. Oh, yeah. You're nervous. You're nervous, aren't you? Yep. Anyway, that's it. This is Sky. I'm Kyle. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Don't kiss my mouth. I don't know where that thing's been.